so I'm in my closet right now. I'm trying to go through the stuff that I did not unpack in my bins and in my boxes because I just want to get this room organized. Um, so I need to figure out what I'm going to hang up, what I'm going to put in my drawers, my nightstand drawers that I have in my master bedroom, and then what I'm going to give away to either the Goodwill or to like one of my cousins or something like that. But I already got started. But I have not like, you know, hung up the clothes exactly how I want them, put them where I want them to be or anything like that. Um, so I'm about to try to get this together. Eventually, me and Mike, we do want to build out this closet to make it more custom. But for right now, we're going to just utilize the space as it is and get it nicely organized. So I'm about to get started on that now. Okay, so I'm back at it again. It's the next day. I went in and I hung up all my clothes that I had in bins and boxes. Um, I still have some clothes that are getting washed right now. So I'll hang those up when that is done. But I'm about to go in and organize my closet, put the clothes how I want them to look. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to keep my coats over here. And then also put my dresses here too, just because it obviously has the length. It doesn't have like two shelves. Um, so it just allows me to hang up stuff that's long. So I think I'm going to do that, which is kind of already done, but I'm just going to like color code it and organize it or like do it by seasons. I'm really not sure. I'm just going to flow with it as I'm going. And then down here, of course, keep my pants, my skirts, and my shorts everything like that there. I have to clean up my shoes. I'm um, not really sure what I'm doing with my shoes yet. Um, I think I'll probably need to buy like a shoe rack. I don't have that yet, but I'll get that. I'll probably just keep those shoes in the bin for now um, and get rid of the ones like I don't wear anymore. And then up here, of course, I'm going to keep my shirts there. So I'm about to go through, like I said, and just clean this up. I did get some bins like some cute bins from sam's to hold like my hats and my belts and things like that up top so i'm going to show you guys that when i get to that part of cleaning out my closet okay so i changed my mind i am going to show you guys the bags i bought 
for on top of my shelf to hold my belt and my scarves and gloves and things like that. So I picked these bamboo rim baskets up from my Sam's Club. I think they're really cute. Um, they're collapsible so when I'm done using these um, I can just collapse them and put them in my storage unit and I just think that I can use these anywhere honestly like in a linen closet things like that I think this would be super cute so I don't feel like you know when we do decide to upgrade our closet that these will go to waste so that's why I picked these up um, but let me show you how it looks when I actually open them up so look how cute these are I think this is so cute they came in um, cream and they also came in blue. Of course I went with gray. I think it's more durable. I actually was thinking of maybe doing the cream just because that's always a cute color. But since I'm gonna be reaching up there frequently to grab my stuff, I just didn't want it to get dirty quickly. So I went with the gray and I really think these are cute. So I'm about to start putting my items in there because I am cleaning out the lower half of my closet so it just made sense for me to do this part first and then reorganize my clothes so now i'm really about to get started All right, so I'm back again today. Yesterday I went to Sam's, like I told you, and I actually picked up this Dyson V8. I've always been curious about the Dyson vacuum because right now I have a Shark. Not that pleased with it, um, but I've been having that for a couple years, so I felt like it was time to upgrade our vacuum. So I purchased this one yesterday. I'm about to unbox it, and then I think I'll probably have to charge it. Right now I'm trying to go through the house and clean up so I'm like, let me charge this before I get in the weeds of it and then I don't have a vacuum to start vacuuming the house. So I'm about to unbox it, see how it's looking. I wanted to show you guys this because if you're curious, like I'm curious, I want you to be able to tell if this vacuum is good or not for yourselves. And I'll definitely let you know my opinions on it. Um, but yeah, let me get to unboxing this vacuum. All right, so it comes with these three pieces, two brushes, and then two other um, pieces. Let me try to figure it out. Oh, here we go. This piece right here that you can use to pick stuff up. And then this one is for like the creases of like couches or other high areas um, that you want to pull from. It comes with a charger. And from reading the directions, it seems like you have to charge this for five hours. I'm not really liking that um, because I know I want to vacuum soon. So I'm thinking I may have, um, should have got a head start last night and put this on a charger. Um, but yeah, I'm about to do that so that I can vacuum five hours from now, I guess. But hopefully, if that is the only drawback, that this vacuum would be good. I did hear that the battery life, because it is cordless, is short. 
So I think I'll just have to get used to that. I'm used to just plugging in my vacuum and using it when I want to use it. So it seems like I'm going to have to keep this thing charged um, just to stay prepared in case I need to use my vacuum. So I'm about to charge this now. And then when I test it out, I'm going to show you guys. Happy Saturday. I am, first of all, that espresso shot, mm, I don't know. I'm trying to get some energy because I'm still cleaning up my house and I really want to keep on going. So I decided to take this espresso shot. Um, it's just really strong. But I came on here because I bought the Dyson V8 vacuum cleaner. I've been hearing nothing but good things about Dyson compared to like the Shark vacuum cleaner. So I opened it up today, I um, put it together and I charged it. So the instruction says to charge it for five hours. First of all, I kind of was thrown off by that time because I'm like, five hours? Like, it needs to be like an hour charge and then let me use it after that or something like that. But five hours is just ridiculous in my opinion. But anywho, like I said, I let it charge for five hours and I go to use this daggone vacuum cleaner. Mind you, this vacuum cleaner is expensive. I'm thinking it's about to give what it's supposed to give. I go to use this daggone vacuum cleaner thinking I'm doing something right. First of all, this trigger. Let me show you something. Yeah, buddy, I'm down here. Come on. So, come on, babe. So, first of all, you have to press this thing down the whole entire time. Who want to do that? Not me. I don't want to do that. Mom. Yeah, babe. Huh? I'm talking to my Instagram followers. I'm talking to your Instagram. <laughs> Second of all, I'm like, okay, fine, fine, fine. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So, I'm getting, like, in the, the groove of things, right? A little rotation. So... I get like midway. Y'all seen my basement before. So I'm like here. I'm vacuuming, right? I get here. That joint start June, June, June. I'm like, mm, what's going on? June, June, June. And I'm like, I know this joint not about to cut off on me. Not after I just spent five hours letting it charge and I'm geeked to use it. Y'all. Why that thing cut off on me? And it had two lights still lighting up. Apparently, when it's like on the last light, okay, it's about to die. I get it. But it still had two lights lighting up. I'm like, what in the world? It's been five minutes. So I'm trying to push through. Like, I'm trying to push through my daggone basement at this point. So the thing is like cutting off, and then I'm able to cut it back on for like two seconds. Cut off. Cut back on for two seconds, like I said. So I'm trying to plow through my dad's on basement. I'm like, forget it, because it's not even giving nothing. Let me put it back on the charger for another five hours, right? And I literally put it on charger. It's charging now, and it's still only on two lights. I just wanted to come on here and ask if anybody has this dad on Dyson V8 Motorhead vacuum cleaner. Is mine defected, or is this how it is like i don't like that five minutes five hour charge time like i don't like that mm -mm. all right guys so i am finally finished organizing my closet i'm gonna show you guys That is my closet. That's my husband's side right here. Of course, I'm taking over majority of the closet. That's just how it goes. But overall, I'm really feeling it. That's just a, a old stool that we just keep there um, to sit down. Sometimes when we try and decide on what we want to wear, 
but eventually when we build this out, you know, that's not going to be there. Um, maybe temporarily I'll even find a bigger cushion or ottoman that we can use instead of that um, just until we do build this out. But I'm really loving it so far. Um, I love the bins, like I said keeps everything organized. I have my hats, gloves, my, some of my smaller bags inside of the bins and some other stuff. And for Mike, he has his hats and gloves, his ties and things like that in his bins. The only other thing that I need to do in here is get us some shoe racks. So it's nowhere to put our shoes at. So I need to find some shoe racks to um, place our shoes on. And I wanna be able to put the shoe racks right under our coats on Mike's side and my side. So I think that will look really good. Just going through this again, these are my coats. Then I have over here some dresses. Um, and then I have my shirts up top. Down the bottom, I have my jeans, shorts, skirts. And then over here, I have like my jersey, um, my jumper slash rompers and my sweatshirts. And then on Mike's side, of course, it's the same thing. His pants, hoodies, shirts, um, and his coats and jackets right there. So like I said, I like this. I think it looks really neat. Um, and I think this would be great for us until we do build out this space in the future. Let me know what you think about my closet update. Good morning, everyone. I am about to head to one of my favorite stores, HomeSense. It's actually like just a big version of Home Goods, like three Home Goods in one. So we're about to go there, and then we're gonna actually go to the Home Goods right by there. Hi. <laughs> he said hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> and if we um, uh, no, we about to leave. So get your get your book bag and get your shoes out the closet. And if we have time, hopefully we can make it to the crate and barrel that's right there beside it. Um, but I'm just looking forward to it. I have a lot of things that I'm looking for. Um, stuff for my office, um, a rug for Parker's room, a rug for my dining room, Christmas stuff, stuff for Mike's party. I'm actually planning Mike's uh, 30th birthday party here at the house. So if I find some stuff for his party, I'll pick that up too. So I'm just on a hunt for a slew of things. I'm excited. It's a gorgeous day out today. I'm hanging with my mom. I think we're gonna have a really good shopping day. Cross my fingers. I don't wanna jinx it. I'm really hoping I can find some stuff. But I'll bring you along and I'll show you the things that I'm interested in and we're just gonna go on a shot with me. Before I leave, quick outfit of the day. I have on this Zara jacket. This is like a olive green tan um, cream and lavender um, jacket from Zara. And then I have on these mom jeans from American Eagle. I have on these chunky combat boots from Zara. And then just, I paired it with like this cream tank top and then my cream coach tabby bag. So that's my outfit of the day and I'm about to get going. So home since didn't have anything. I think I jinxed myself by anticipating too much. 
So I'm disappointed. I know what ain't. I know what ain't. I know what ain't. Home goods. Bye, Home sense was not my girl, unfortunately. So me and my mom, me and my girl. I know it ain't. I know it ain't. That's my mom. Yeah. My mom, me. <laughs> you know, it's your girl. But it's we, your girl. <laughs> we on our way you to know, home. It's your girl. We on our way to Home Goods. Hopefully, cross my fingers again. Y'all look at my uh, oh my goodness, her lock journey. My lock journey. I hope we can find some stuff in Home Goods. Cross my fingers again. Look at her. Everybody keeps saying, "You got sister locks?" Uh, no, that'll be a no. Y'all who have been subscribed for a little minute, y'all know she always pop in here. And yes, talk about her locks. Subscribe to my channel. That's a shout to my channel. <laughs> her locks, y'all see them growing. Uh, oh my goodness. Anywho, we are at Home Goods now, and we about to go see what they are giving. So we just left home goods. Oh. They didn't have anything. Um, so won't. But we are now at Joanne's. I'm whispering because it's giving library in here. Ain't nobody talking about. So no I don't want to be the one. I don't have no music playing, no nothing. So it's a little awkward in here. But we are on a search for some fabric for Mike's birthday party. Um, so let's go on a hunt all right i finally made it back home um we went all around today like i said we went to home sense home goods another home goods and also at home so i was able to find just a couple of little things not much but i wanted to do a mini haul for you guys to show you guys what i got all right so the first items i got are from home goods and i'm going to start off with this cutting board right here so I've been trying to find a large cutting board for behind my um, stove. So I found this one at Home Goods. I'm definitely gonna get another cutting board to pair this one with, but I felt like this was a good start because it is so long. So that's what I got from Home Goods. This was $20. I also picked up some sheets for Parker's room. These match his comforter set. I did not find these when I originally found his green comforter set, so I was happy to find this, and I know I had to get it because I'm about to actually um, finish up Parker's room, like you guys know. Um, so this came at the perfect time. I definitely had to get this, and this was at Home Goods as well. And since we're on Parker's room, when I went to at home, I picked up Parker a rug. I'm not going to show you guys because it's just big. I picked up Parker a rug, um, and when I roll out his room, I'll definitely show you guys the rug. It's blue, but I also picked him up two pillows for his bed. This is one of them, and this one was at, at home. And then I also picked up this pillow for his bed, too, from at home. So this would be cute with his green comforter. So I picked these two up at home and the last items i got they're all christmas related um just got an early start on christmas um so at home goods i picked up these napkins and i don't think i'm going to use the red ones i definitely want to use these ones with the green christmas tree i think that's really cute i usually do black um, white, olive green, and maybe silver or maybe gold. I'm not sure 
what color my accent color is going to be this year but that's that's what i tend to go for for my theme will be like a green christmas so i definitely want to use these ones opposed to the red ones but if it works together i'll see how that looks but for now i definitely know i'm going to use these ones i picked up these cute stockings from home goods this definitely goes with my theme. I tend to do the green plaid or the black plaid. So I'm really looking forward to using these. So this would be for me and Mike. And then Parker has a green stocking. And I think it would just fit out theme perfectly. So I had to get these. At, at home, I found two boxes of black Christmas bulbs. One is just this matte black bulb. And then one has this shimmer to it. And these both were only $3.99. They had so many different colors to choose from, but I had to get these black ones, and these were at, at home. I also was able to finally find a snow globe. Like, I'm just obsessed with snow globes. I think they really set off, like, just the Christmas feeling. So I've been searching for a snow globe that was just simple. All the ones I usually see, like, it just has a lot going on. I definitely want, like, a black bottom to match my decor look at the green christmas tree just think it goes very well with my decor and then this one also like plays a christmas song just think it's so sweet i love this i'm really geek for real for real y'all don't know how long I, I think it's been like two christmases that i've been trying to find a snow globe and I finally found one. This was at, at home and it was only $18 for this. Don't mind the music, the snow globe is still going off. Um, but these are the other things I picked up at, at home. This was a Christmas tree from at home and then I got this plaid one too. And like I said, these go perfectly with my Christmas decor. And so the last items I picked up were at Joann's and they were only just some wrapping paper, but it was perfect for my Christmas theme. So I wanted to quickly show you guys that. So this is the green plaid paper I picked up at Joann's. And like I said, love plaid. Like this is really what my Christmas gives for three years now i've been having like the same theme i'm still obsessed with it i feel like whenever i get tired of it then i'll move on to like a different color this year i'll probably add hints of red but we'll see how that goes so like i said all these is the gist of how my christmas typically looks so i got four of these kinds and then i also got this brown one right here with these green Christmas trees. So this was super cute. And for upstairs, I'm actually putting a smaller Christmas tree right next to Parker's playroom and it's gonna be extremely kitty. So I wanted to pick up Parker's some wrapping paper just for him. So I picked up two of them and let me show you guys those. The first one is this one and it's the Grinch who stole Christmas. This is Parker's favorite Christmas movie, so I thought this was just perfect for him. And then I got this wrapping paper, which is dinosaurs with Santa hats on. I thought this was so cute too. So yeah, these just match like his kitty theme. That tree is gonna be colorful. It's gonna have like all types of kid ornaments on there. So I thought this would be super cool for him and just personable for him. So he can just know like, this is my little Christmas tree. You know, it's kitty, it's fun. It, it's just for him because I like my Christmas tree to be aesthetically pleasing. So I wanted to have him a personal Christmas tree so it can be fun and kid -y. So that is all the stuff that I got today. That's my mini haul for you guys. I'm actually about to play around in Parker's room. I'll show you guys the finishing touches when I'm done, but cross your fingers that this rug works, these pillows work, and that the room just finally comes together for me. If not, we are gonna still be on the hunt for a rug because it's not over until it's over, period. Mm -hmm.